The APC Convention in 2018, a beautiful ascension to the home of affairs of the APC, as two-time governor of Edo State, Comrade Adamsa Shomale, took over leadership of the party from John Oyego. With lofty promises of leading the party to victory in the 2019 elections, dismantling God for Zarism and nepotism, and promising to unite the then torn apart faction that threatens the party's unity, Oshomale became popular amongst party faithful. I believe with my own background, I am used to managing the emergencies. And this is just another task. It will be done to the satisfaction of our president, of our governors, of our senators, of our representatives, of our House of Assembly members, and indeed of all the rank of our members of our party. We will devote all our time to it. That precisely is the oath of office that we have just sworn to. And we will administer the party on the basis of our constitution. We will organize summits to discuss issues create platform for popular participation so that we replace the current situation in which issues are not being discussed. The only business is now is ethnicity and religion. In 2019, a running battle for party supremacy started off between Adams Oshomale and his state governor, Godwin Obasaki, who was generally believed to be his anointed candidate and political son. Over the years, their relationship deteriorated allegedly over power tussle of the State House of Assembly and a shameless quest to control the governor and the state APC machinery. Nobody, as of today, has been able to come up to say this is the cause of Oshimole and Obaseke's rift. Rather, we have snippets, either from the governor saying his own part, Oshimole wants to impose, Oshimole saying that uh, he has not uh, uh, made any overture to the governor, in, in respect of any situation. So no, nobody can tell. So I think that is why I'm suggesting that um, the party leaders um, and some elders, that is talking of the president himself. Now, the president should not sit aloof because quite uh, unfortunately, the president has been accused of sitting aloof on so many issues. Um, he is a Democrat, really, and he allows people to have their free reign. Uh, look at what happened in Imo, that finally, when they wanted the president to act, he didn't. Finally, the uh, APC lost Imo. Well, the court through the magnitude of the court restored him to them. Look at what happened in Sanfara. Sanfara to the point that they were there and then they lost everything. They almost had some similar situation in, uh, in, in, in Ogun State. You know? So the president always keeps quiet and things like that. It has come to the point right now for silence not to be golden any longer on the part of the president and the party leadership and the party leaders. Let them wake up, bring these two men to the room, Ask them face to face, what do you want? And then with that, they find a win-win situation. Because really and truly, um, something is at stake as far as Edo is concerned. And APC cannot, cannot go to a dual election in this, under this fractured situation. Governor Basseke's uh, re-election. Because first and foremost, he needs to win the APC nomination. And if it is, if the, 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 the structure is this Structured because the APC structure really, really is structured from top to down in the Edo states. So if the structure is is is, is, uh, is um, as fractured as it is, and he fails to secure the nomination of APC in the Edo state, he will not just leave it like that. He will move to another party. Already we've seen uh, Obaseke romancing with PDP. We saw him having meetings with uh, former President Jonathan and all whatnot. So he's already planning his plan B knowing fully well that the rock will be swept off his carpet, off his feet uh, anytime by, by the APC uh, leadership. So it's, it's, it's going to affect it. It's definitely going to affect it. Will he be able to muster enough support for if he goes to another party to be able to retain his position? Will the structures be able to work against him and all whatnot for him not to win the election? So certainly, whatever it is, except there's a meekable resolution today, I doubt if 
or Basaka will survive it. In November 2019, this politician took a new turn as the disagreement between the chairman and the governor of the state, as well as the state assembly, resulted in the suspension of the national chairman from the state chapter of the party after a vote of no confidence was allegedly passed on him by 18 LG party chairmen, an action Oshamale condemned. Ahead of the September 20 gubernatorial election in the state, the BC Akonde-led Reconciliation Committee was set up earlier this year to intervene in the feud. But this committee has not yielded much. Only last weekend, February 22nd, the chairman's visit to the state was greeted with protesters who were dispersed by security with the governor condemning Oshimila's visit to the state without pre-informing him. For us, it's just extending the courtesy. I mean, this is the president, uh, someone who has served the country at the highest level. Unlike the incident, the unfortunate incident that we've been having you know, in Edo State, which is really sad, um, where somebody who has been the governor of a state is visiting the state and does not realize that courtesy demands that he could inform the governor or the government apparatus of his visit and that the chief executive is in charge of his security when he is in the state. So it's a really sad and unfortunate that people who have served, who should know better, decide to behave the way they do or behave with impunity and utter sense of lawlessness. And Oshomole fires right back. We didn't think we should go into street protest because to join them in street protest, it's uh, like the proverbial proverb, which says that um, when a madman carries your clothes while you are in the bedroom uh, and he's trying to run away and you, you come out naked, running after him, people will say, look at these two madmen. <laughs> you will know the difference. And that is why we resisted the hodge to join PDP in a, in a street fight because it, it won't make any sense. Absolutely. We as a governing party has the burden to maintain peace, to maintain law and order. And former president, good luck Jonathan, of the PDP, weighs in. Traditionally, as somebody who has been a president, or a senior political office holder, when you go to a state, you have to pay courtesy call on the chief executive of the state. If you are free, if you are not too free, fine, but at least you will inform you. So we just come to greet the young man who is <laughs> trying his best. But away from all the rhetoric and political fireworks between these political gladiators, how exactly should this rift be handled? Oshimole made a basake. That, that, that must be established because the basake was nowhere in the politics equation of Edo State. Obaseke served Oshimole as... Um, I think it's a special advice or something on some ec on economic matters, and um, Oshimole worked hard to make Obaseke governor. What, whatever that could have caused their rift, as of today, nobody can pinpoint that this is what caused the rift between Obaseke and Oshimole. Um, certainly, it would not be out of place to imagine that the rift would have been caused by maybe power tussle, uh, somebody wanting to impose things or someone wanting to assert himself. Some of them had accused Obaseki of um, being a, 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 a PDP mole in APC. And also he should be careful the way he receives you know, all of this PDP support and the rest because it will paint him you know, as a member of, uh, of PDP who just waiting to jump into PDP if the APC denied him a ticket. It should be calculated. With only seven months left to the election, is there any possibility of ending this rift? <laughs> that question can be answered by, you know, even a lay political watcher. Every political watcher knows that um, all of this will end either in the primaries or after the election. We all know that all of this fight, it's about the number one seat in the state. And that, so I don't see any end in sight soonest except the, you know, September after the um, election. That's when we should be talking about our end. Comrade Shimole and the Governor Baseke, it's quite an unfortunate one. Uh, so far, it has defied so much solutions because the two men involved seems to uh, be digging deep for their position. Um, I do not know. Os um, uh, Oshimole is the chairman of the APC. 
Um, the APC, apart from the chairman, has leaders, two leaders, and which is uh, Ashwa Jibala Mektinibu and uh, President Muhammadu Buhari. Um, at this point, it seems that um, the way that to go now is for the leader of the party, the leaders of the party, to call these two men into a room and ask what they want. It should not be a mina take up situation. Uh, we see the way politicians fight over position and then pretend or dress it in um, you, you know, public interest. But this is all about personal interest. And it is laughable when a state governor tells a former governor to take permission from him, so to say, before visiting the state. Um, that is creating insecurity, his visit is creating insecurity. Or that when I hear that people say that it is because Oshomole wants to control the governor, that um, you know, he's basically a godfather, or he wants to be godfather, this is what he fought against. Or, or, it, it's a misconception. The people that are quarreling with Obaseki even started quarreling with him even before Shomole came into the, the fray. And, and I saw, for me, I would want to advise, politics in Nigeria, we agree, it is not good to share money, but there's a way you should be diplomatic about it. People helped you, people campaigned for you to get into office. It is only natural that you carry all of those people along. And then for Shomole, also being a leader, you know, in the party, especially the number one person in the party now, he should always find a way of, you know, a meeting ground um, with his people. People had come to complain to him about uh, the antics of Ob Obaseki and the rest. I think he should have found a way of reconciling those people that are complaining and then advising Obaseki on what to do and not to just um, abandon the ship that, you know, he used to sail to the office. As INEC and voters prepare to go to the polls, electorates are advised to choose wisely. And this last advice to people who are queuing up behind these two gladiators is that, yes, why queuing up behind them? It is good. Just hold your popcorn and your, you know, drink and watch the, the, the flow or the battle. Don't be caught in between fires. Don't be part, you know, of the crisis because at the end of the day, you won't be there when they settle. And if you're, you've allowed yourself to be caught in between, you might just, you know, sacrifice your life for politicians. And in Nigeria, it is not worth it. There has been too much violence in Edo State right now. There has been bombing of houses. There has been assassination attempts. There has been so many things happening in Edo State, all because of the interest of two individuals. Edo is bigger than Obaseke, is bigger than Oshimole put together. Before Oshimole and Obaseke, there was an Edo State. After Oshimole and Obaseke, there will be an Edo State. Therefore, the people of Edo, please, where you are thinking cap, go and buy some sense and put in your head. On the day of election, please look at the manifestos of whoever wants to rule you and go for them. And again, Sandro went into APC. APC, you have lost too much ground due to your own making, due to your own uh, not being able to put your house in order. A dough is staring at your face. To lose a dough, and even on dough, is staring at your face clearly. On the 4th of March, an Abuja High Court ordered the suspension of Adam Shomale as party chairman. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa. Oh,